So to all you goons and underlings out there, this one's for you. In war, there is no good and evil. In war, death is inevitable. And everyone is equal in the grave. And that is a wild thing to learn from a game starring a lemon with a mustache. Well done, Retroid. Well done. Carrot Man! Oh, Carrot Man! You thought you'd get rid of me that easily? Nah! The Wonderling never dies. Oh, you got three lives. I got an infinite number. Shout out to Kohlrabi. Long may she reign. Come on, we all know that there's no chance you can beat me. So why don't you get your tap root down here and we can settle this like the produce that we are. Come on, just, are you scared? Just, just come on down here. I promise I won't turn into a big old dragon and eat you in one bite or anything. Oh, no. Just kidding. Everybody knows you're the worst vegetable out there. You're the thing that people pick out of their salads, all right? All right? You are so bad, you had to come up with some story about how you're good for people's eyes. Well, you know what's not good for people's eyes? Lemon juice. <laughs> Oh, I just wish you would come down here in the same physical 2D plane of space as I am, and I would, oh, I can't even say it so bad. Please test me and see what happens. Please. You ain't a hero. You're the thing people use as the nose of a freaking snowman, all right? But personally, I always thought you looked more like a, oh, hang on, hang on, I'm getting, getting a, a phone call. Uh, yeah, yeah. New update? A new world? New ending? Uh, free? Oh, uh, hey, hey, cameraman, give me a second. I gotta go. The next episode of the Chip Tide Show starts right now, where we're taking a look at Wonderwing, Kohlrabi's Ruin. There was a door right there. I ran, there was, I ran into the door right there. I just, ugh. Before I start, I feel like I gotta mention that this video is in no way sponsored by the company Retroid Interactive. They didn't send me a review copy of the game or anything, but they did send me the lemon costume and this bag of Swedish candy and a code for the Nintendo eShop for a free version of the game that I am giving away to one of you lucky viewers. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can get a chance to win. If you haven't seen the first video I made on Wonderling like a year back, I recommend you watch that first and then come back here. In that one I talk more about the gameplay and the general mechanics, all the things like that, or in this one I'm focusing on mostly the story and just the new elements of the new update, Kohlrabi's Ruin. Also pardon the just huge mess that was back here, I was too lazy to clean it up. That's it. That's the only reason. And one last thing before starting the video massive massive spoiler warning i know this game seems like an innocent puzzle platformer mario parody but if you've seen the last episode then you know there is some super super dark stuff here and last time i was trying to be vague and not give away too many things but here i am opening the floodgate so if you have never played wonderling before then i suggest right now either click the time code in the description to see how you can win a free copy or just go and buy the dang thing it's available on pretty much every platform i'm pretty sure and it is well worth the price of admission so just go on play it get the story come back here keep watching we'll be good to go 
Right. So now that everyone here has definitely completed Wonderling and the new update, Kohlrabi's Ruin, let's have a quick review of where we stand. You play as this little lemon guy called the Wonderling, and you're a minion in the army of Kohlrabi, who was definitely not involved in the poisoning of the king and queen. Take your slanderous accusations elsewhere. Princess P is now being held in the castle for her own safety, mind you, and this bastard Carrot Man is trying to play the hero and save her, murdering countless innocent minions along his way. Oh yeah, and there's also Dash the Cow, the single greatest cow, nay, 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 the single greatest being to ever live. Look at her! Ah, oh, I love you! The original ending of the game had you climbing Kohlrabi's tower to try and get to Princess P before Carrot Man did. But when you get there, you find out that she's already gone. Carrot Man is all bummed out because his girlfriend is way cooler than him. And then Kohlrabi and Dash show up and everything goes sideways. It's revealed that the Wonderlings are in fact not lemons or assorted fruits depending on what color you pick, but mashed up corpses of all of the denizens of the vegetable kingdom that Kohlrabi has murdered and reanimated into her loyal servants. As the game puts it, you are a, a vegetable a smoothie. Yeah, it's dark. Kohlrabi turns you into a big dragon for one last throwdown with Carrot Man, but he reveals a trump card. The Wonderlings may have infinite lives, but they have one weakness, one fatal flaw that can take them out for good. And that's Carrots. He dives down your throat, causing you to explode, killing everyone in the tower except for Kohlrabi. The game ends with Kohlrabi giving yours, Dash's, and Princess P's eulogies, proclaiming herself as the one true ruler of the Vegetable Kingdom, and announcing a program to make everyone in the Vegetable Kingdom look exactly the same. Or in other words, turn everyone into her own personal goons. I searched high and low for some other ending, some happier ending. Surely this couldn't be it. I completed every inch of the game only to find nothing. And I concluded that that was the true lesson this game was trying to teach us. No matter what they do, no matter how hard they work, for some people, for some goons, there just isn't a happy ending. But after months of crying and minion activism, everything changed. Retroid announced a new free update to the game called Kohlrabi's Ruin that would feature a whole new world and a new ending. Finally, there was hope for my little guys. A second chance at the ending they deserve, not the ending that the likes of Carrot Man thought they ought to have. But was this truly a light at the end of the tunnel? Or is it just one of those fish with the little the little lights coming out of their heads? I hate those things. Well, it was only one way to find out. I followed this update as closely as I could, gobbling up every little ounce of information that they gave us. Hell, I even volunteered to be a play tester for it so I could get a sneak peek at the game before anyone else did. At Real Talk, that was an awesome experience. Huge shout outs to Retro Interactive and peep my name in the credits. Who would have guessed? But that sneak peek only let me see the gameplay portions. No spoilers on the story. For that, I would have to wait for the proper release. And release it did, and I'm glad to say it did not disappoint. So, after quite possibly the longest introduction segment I have ever done, it is finally time to take a look at Wonderling Kohlrabi's Ruin. I already did the intro, so I can't, I don't know how to segue. I'm just, segue. Before I get into the crazy story revelations of the new ending, and believe me, they're coming. I gotta talk about the new levels because oh, this is Wonderling firing on all cylinders. It took me a while to remember the controls and all my moves and stuff. And trust me, I died a lot, but I had a blast while doing it. The levels are all even more intricate, the secrets are even more satisfying to find, the costumes are all awesome. It's just the best. 
My favorite levels have got to be the three secret ones at the end of the world that you can unlock by finding hidden exits in other levels because they are tough, but so, so cool. Each one is themed around a different sort of obscure mechanic. Uh, like, for example, one of them has a whole bunch of hidden walls and stuff that you can go through, and you can only see what's behind them when you're in a hidden wall segment. So you got to quickly scout ahead to see which areas are traps and which areas are the right way to go. And there's this other one where you have to constantly dash into walls to, like, make sure you're facing the right direction and do a whole bunch of ricochets. Oh, it is so cool. Honestly, me just standing here describing the levels doesn't do them justice, but since everyone here has already played the game and is not spoiling themselves, then we're fine. You already know what I'm talking about. If you simply just beat all the new levels, you'll gain access to the final tower level and get the same depressing ending as before. No. If you want that sweet, sweet new ending, you gotta go just a little bit further. If you collect every single sunflower seed in every level of a world, Dash will show up and give you a page of Princess P's diary that gives you some more insight into the relationships between Princess P, uh, Carrot Man, Kohlrabi, and Dash before everything went crazy. If, like me, you got super invested into the story of this game, doesn't get much better than that. If you get every single sunflower seed in every level in the game and get all the pages of the diary, including a new one for the new world, then you, my friend, are finally ready. It's time to throw on that pimp grimace outfit and climb that tower one more time to see what destiny has in store. If you have not done this, gotten all the diary pages to see the final true ending, turn back now. This is your final spoiler warning. Maybe just, I don't know, kick back with a glass of lemonade or something instead. It's not weird now that we know that they're vegetables now, is it? Hmm? Upon the final level's completion, you walk up to Princess P's room just like before, only this time you meet Dash the Cow right outside. She thanks you for collecting all the sunflower seeds and making the kingdom beautiful again. She's so inspired by your good deed that she steps in and stops you and Carrot Man from throwing down in that fateful moment. She questions that orange piece of crap Carrot Man's devotion to Princess P, asking if all of this is really what she would have wanted. She's in the middle of saying how they need to stop the cliche cycle of heroes and minions when she's interrupted by Kohlrabi herself. Kohlrabi reveals that not only did she actually murder the king and queen, who could have ever foreseen that, but before the events of the game, she murdered Princess P as well, using her pure soul to power her Wonderling factory. A huge revelation to be sure, all this time we thought Princess P had run away, but oh no, no, that is not the case. But through her monologue, we also learned that Kohlrabi She's not your standard Ganon or Bowser or anything. She doesn't really care about ruling the Vegetable Kingdom. Or at least she didn't until Carrot Man relentlessly teased her for being ugly and even turned Princess P against her. Using a recipe book of wicked sorcery, she murders Carrot Man on the spot and then turns your attention to Dash and you, the traitors! who turned against her and listened to that wicked carrot man. She reverts to her true sorcerer form and whisks you away to the final boss. In a fight that makes Obi-Wan versus Anakin look like freaking my sims, you are forced to do battle with the witch that I have sang the praises of for months. It's just you versus Kohlrabi, master versus minion, creator versus creation, in a battle where the fate of the very world lies in your hands. An epic battle for the ages that deserves not just an epic speech, but all the epic speeches. I'll be right back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Been probably about two minutes from now, Minions from here will be joining others from across the kingdom, and you will be embarking on the largest 2D side-scrolling battle in the history of Veggie Kind. A day may come when the courage of fruit fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of Veggie Ship, but it is not this day. 
Benji Kind, that word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed, get it, by our petty differences in taste, texture, and shape any longer. We will be united in our common aspects, being the edible part of an herbaceous plant. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to your king and queen because I don't know what to tell you to write. And also they're dead. They may take our lives, but they will never take our lives because we have an infinite number of them. An hour of pulp and shattered seeds where the age of produce comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight. I don't know what to do about Kurabi's sorcery or Princess P's death or Carrot Man and his general bad attitude. Oh, I dash the cow is the single greatest thing to ever live. Seriously, that woman's got some serious je ne sais quoi. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to stand up and say, I'm pretty sure I'm still considered a vegetable. God damn it, my lives have value. My name is Wonderful Underling Wonderling. Commander of the Smoothies of the North. General of the Felix Lagoons. Loyal servant to the true emperor. Dash the cow. Perhaps it is fate that today is the 4th of July. Uh, you know what? Actually, that part doesn't super uh, super apply here. Let me just skip forward a little bit. Uh, and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from juicing or dicing or blending. But from... No, you know what? It, uh, yeah, it, it is juicing. That's the, that's the end. That's the big bad thing that's going to happen here. That's it. That's the end goal. Vessel to a murder melon. Glass to a murder tomato. I couldn't think of a good pun for that one. And I will have my vengeance. In this life, or the next, 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 or the next. You talk about your onions, talk about your games, 316. Well, Lemon 316 says I just cut your grass by all that you hold dear that came from this good earth. I bet you stand, veggies of the smoothie variety. For the goons. Ah! You have to speed run your way through this final level, avoiding waves of lasers that Kohlrabi sends at you. It's a challenging fight to be sure, but in the end, the gift of undying that she bestowed upon you will be Kohlrabi's own doing. In classic video game fashion, three hits is all it takes before the wicked sorceress is vanquished once and for all. But in one last cruel trick, Kohlrabi reveals that she has rigged the whole castle to explode. She may be going down, but she's taking you with her. But at the very last moment, like Sam Wilson from Endgame, only a thousand times cooler, and that's saying something, Dash the cow runs in with a barely still living caraman on her back. True to her name, she scoops you up and runs like no bovine has ever run before. She carries you back to the safety of World 1, only to find that Kohlrabi is hot on your trail. And what happens next? Does Kohlrabi, in her last dying breath, use one last spell to take you out? Does Dash back kick her friend in the face, putting her out of her misery once and for all? No. Instead, in a true Vader moment, Kohlrabi realizes that she's let hatred cloud her judgment. She was so preoccupied with getting revenge on Carrot Man that she lost track of all right and wrong. But in her dying breath, in an attempt to atone for her sins, she proclaims Dash the new queen of the Vegetable Kingdom, hoping that Dash could do what she could not, create a kingdom where everyone can live as equals, no matter what you look like. Carrot Man 2 realizes what a fool he's been and sets off on one last adventure to make up for how selfish he's been in the past. And you? Well, now that Kohlrabi's gone, you are finally freed from your shackles. No longer cursed to forever run back and forth, you are given complete control to go whichever direction you want. Finally, minion and heroes on a level playing field. And what happens next? Well, I don't think I could put it any better than Dash yourself. Take it away. And so, thanks to a little yellow nobody with the heart of a hero, Kohlrabi's evil plans were thwarted. And I, 
a cow with an extremely outdated video camera, ended up as the queen of the vegetable kingdom. Soon after, life once again became surprising and happy and free. I think a lot about what happened here and how to put it into words, any knowledge I've gained living through it, and I think this is the best I'm ever going to do, so bear with me. We have to accept that the world is always going to be more complicated than we expect. What ought to be almost never is, and anything we have that's good comes from people who are willing to compromise with life's most sobering realities. A good friend of mine once said that a hero is someone with the courage to challenge their place in things, and to go beyond the role fate set out for them. A tireless friend to all, who really tries to change the world for the better. To me, there is no greater wisdom. And really, how cute is this little guy? I mean, seriously, if we had just had the foresight to make some plushies of this thing, we'd totally be rolling in it by now. Anyway, thanks for rocking this game. I bet it was really annoying at parts, but hopefully it was mostly good. I wanted to give you something amazingly impressive to honor your momentous achievement, but instead, here's a shot of the Wonderling's butt. See you next time. Last time I said the lesson of this game was that some people would never get a happy ending, no matter what they did. But I see now that that's no longer the case. No, with this new ending, I can see that if you treat everyone with kindness and respect, even if they're a little bit different than you, if you do your best to leave this world a better, more beautiful place than you found it, anyone can have a happy ending. And anyone can be a hero. And that is a wild thing to learn from a game starring a lemon with a mustache. Maybe, just maybe, if my assistant Richard and I had heard these words earlier, maybe things could have ended a little bit differently. Nah, I stand by what I did. He was a dick. Right, so I was going to end the video there on that comedic note, but we gotta do the giveaway. So, here's how this is going to work. Now, I could just do a regular old, like, you know, leave a comment saying your favorite whatever, whatever part about the video, but I thought instead we would play a little game. So, if you want to earn a chance to win a free copy of this game, go down to the comment section below and just comment a single word, a random word, but the second letter has to be the letter U, like the word Wonderling. Now, you may be wondering, what, what, why is, what's the point of that? So, if anyone goes down to the comment section and tries to enter the giveaway without watching the whole video and sees everyone just commenting random words, they might think, oh, you got to just comment a random word. But if it doesn't, if the second letter is not a letter U, then we all get to laugh at them because they are not doing it correctly. So, again, if you want to try and win a free copy of this game, go down to the comments, leave a random word that starts with the letter U. In one week's time from the release of this video, I will pick a random commenter and you will get a free Nintendo Shop eShop, that's not, Nintendo eShop code for this game so you can play it yourself. So head on down there and, uh, you know, type out your words. You can get creative with it. You know, you could do, just do the word sun or something, or you could, you know, you know, get fancy, do whatever you want. I'm looking forward to see what you guys have, and I will catch you in the next video. Later.